Hello, everyone, and welcome to Life Hacks for Working Moms, the podcast that helps you overcome the overwhelm, embrace the chaos, and cultivate a life you love. My name is Megan Strand. Welcome to this episode. I'm not sure there's a mother out there, whether she works outside the home or not, that has not at least once thought, if only there were two of me. I pretty much have that thought every day. Either that or double the hours in the day, but I just think that sounds really tiring. You probably want to be more productive this year, right? Well, the good news is that there's a service that I just recently found out about that allows you to offload time-sucking tasks from your to-do list. It's called Fancy Hands, and today I am very excited to be joined by their CEO, Josh Boltuck. Hey, Josh. Hey, how's it going, Megan? It's great. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. So tell us, what is Fancy Hands, this fabulous productivity tool that we're talking about today? Yeah, very simply, Fancy Hands is uh, your virtual assistant service. It's one of the fastest growing and most affordable virtual assistant services out there. Um, You pay a monthly subscription anywhere from $30 to $150, depending on how much you're going to use it, Um, and you get a set number of tasks um, with that subscription, and you can use those tasks for really anything, um, personal or professional. Um, so I can give a bunch of examples, but you know anything from researching um, school districts um, to uh, researching uh, meals uh, or recipes that you want uh, to cook for the week um, to finding home service professionals um, to come to your house and mow your lawn or uh, clean your uh, your home um, to you know, really kind of more administrative type work. If you're uh, also working from home, we do everything from data entry to expenses um, to travel and entertainment bookings. So it's your own virtual assistant. They're all based throughout the U.S. So let me ask you this. I want to back up just a minute to something that you said, because to me, when you say virtual assistant, I'm like, yeah, that sounds dreamy, but that is way out of my price range. Only really wealthy people have virtual assistants. So I want to back up to something that you said, because you said we're one of the fastest growing virtual assistant services and we're affordable and we have monthly subscription plans. So talk a little bit about that aspect of it, because when I went onto your site, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty affordable. So talk a little bit about that. Sure. Um, that's the goal. Um, you know, the goal was to, to bring this, um, type of service that, you know, uh, forever was really um, confined to people who were uh, either very wealthy or or had uh, kind of high paying jobs, right, and their own um, actual executive assistant. Uh, And we wanted to to democratize that. And so uh, the idea is that you um, really can, you don't have one dedicated assistant, and that's how we drive the price down a little bit. Every time you send in a task, it's going to go to um, a different assistant. Um, they're all located throughout the U.S., but again, you know, $30 is, is pretty affordable um, for having a virtual assistant who will, um, you know, often save you hours, if not days of time, uh, every month. So I want to talk about pricing in a little bit, but uh, so we'll come back to that because you're right. $30 is really affordable, but I want to talk about what that gets you. But I want to know mm-hmm. for you, you're one of the fastest growing VA companies out there. So who's using fancy hands? Like what does your typical client look like? Sure. You know, um, it's hard because everyone uh, can use it. So it's not just one type of person. We certainly have busy parents, busy moms, busy dads. Um, We also have uh, young professionals who are in their, you know, early mid twenties who um, are, you know, working really hard and late um, uh, who, you know, want to have an assistant to help them both with some of their work and with some of their personal lives as well. Um, so it really can span um, the spectrum of age, uh, you know, certainly both genders. Um, and again, you know, our goal as a business, right, is to make it as uh, appealable to a, as broad an audience as possible. Um, and so we're, we're really looking um, to do that by keeping it affordable and by, you know, making sure that it's fast and consistently high quality. So one of the things that I love about this whole premise, and this is something that I talked about, I literally think in my first podcast episode ever, 
was figuring out the things that you like to do and figuring out the things that you don't like to do and maybe that you're not so good at and calling in reinforcements to do that. So whether we're talking about stuff around your house, like you were just talking about, or whether we're talking about things for you professionally that maybe Mm -hmm. are just sucking your time. I mean, really and truly, it's not a good use of your time to be doing something that you could pay somebody a lot less than what you're making an hour to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, for some people, uh, quite frankly, it is a a little bit of a behavioral change. So it's a little hard, um, you know, um, and, you know, because, you know, a lot of us, we like to do things ourselves. We think we can do it the best and better than anyone else. But when you really actually evaluate the things that you're doing, well, you know, in terms of, let's say, I don't know, finding, um, you know, the cheapest item to purchase uh, for a birthday gift or something like that. Really, anyone with a computer can do that. That just takes kind of time and, and the internet, right? Um, and so there's a lot of tasks um, that that you really should probably be offloading to someone else. Um, that that it doesn't require you know your kind of subjective brilliance, right? Uh, anyone kind of objectively can, can so do insulting, it. So uh, insulting, Josh. Are you saying somebody else could you. pick out my ten year old's birthday present? Well, maybe maybe not your ten year old's birthday present, but, but maybe a ten year old's your birthday present. Ten year old's friend's <laughs> birthday present, you know. Um and, you know, maybe you want to pick out the style of the invitation, but um the fancy hands assistant can find the best place to print it um and ship it to you for the cheapest amount. Right. So there's there's certain Some of that parts research. of things that Yeah, you know, there's certain parts of things that um kind of the more objective it is, the more probably you know, we can do a, a pretty good job and, and just as good a job as you could and maybe even a little faster. Um, yeah, you know, right. Well, we, that's because we, that's what you're doing deals. all day long. Yeah. Right, exactly. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad you brought up that behavioral change piece because I will be 100% honest and say, when I first found out about your service, like last month, I went online and I created an account and then I was like, I literally just got stuck by analysis, paralysis and overwhelm. And I was like, well, what, what would I have them do? I mean, there's so many things, there's so many things, but yet... I kind of run, ran into the same thing, like, well, I could do that or I could do that. So I think part of it is, yes, the behavioral change piece, but also the, I don't know, objectivity to be able to take a step back and say, okay, what is really weighing me down right now? Any tips there? Um, you know, my tip is, is just to go and to dive in head first. And that's what I always try to tell people. And that's what we try to encourage as you join the website and kind of uh, introduce you to the product is is just start kind of lobbing in you know tasks um, and you'll start to see how it works. I think uh, as you said, if, if you kind of start to think too much about it um, or try to maybe write out in detail um, kind mm-hmm. of this very um, elaborate task, just get going. You know, our assistants will will ask you if they need more information, um, if, you know, to to get the task done, um, and often you know. Uh, halfway through, you realize, oh, yeah, well, they could do this too, or they could do that too. So my advice is, is just to, you know, start start going and start seeing what, you know, they can do really well, because honestly, there's, I can't think of all the different things that people will use it for. It, it's it's very broad. I mean, everyone has kind of their, their own their lives, thing. their own yep. idiosyncrasies, right? <laughs> and and so, um, you know, the the advice I always give is like, the more you can throw at it, the more you're going to learn quickly what it's really going to save you time about. Yeah. Um, I always say start with customer service stuff, you know, calling up Time Warner Cable or Comcast Ugh. or Verizon um, because that that always is a light bulb that everyone's had, you know, oh, I hate that. No one likes doing that. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a time States. suck. Yeah. Well, right. So that's an easy one to start with. One of the things I saw on your site as I was poking around was a Google Calendar integration. Can you talk a little bit oh, about yeah. that and how, because I don't know about anybody listening, but at least for me professionally, maybe not as much personally, I probably spend, I don't even want to know how much time I spend scheduling meetings, either for myself or other people on my team. So that's that's annoying and not a good use of my time. Can you talk about that too? Yeah, it, it's it's one of our most popular features. Um, we ha- we allow you to integrate a bunch of different services. Uh, Google Calendar being one of the most popular. Facebook as well. Um, if, if Facebook you use, um, people are posting to Facebook. Yeah. Well, you, it's actually to pull like things like uh, your friend's birthdays and things like that oh, that okay. will keep track of things that you may want to 
um, you know, uh, buy a gift for or schedule around. Um, mm. And so we also do um, some work productivity applications like um, Asana and Trello, if you use that professionally, okay. um, to help you kind of manage your tasks and projects. But in terms of the calendar, which is by far one of the most popular ones, you know, really there's a couple of things. One is we can we can uh, help you schedule things. So you say schedule a meeting with uh, you know Jane uh, next week. Um, you know my calendar, but just don't do it in the mornings. Do it sometime in the afternoon, oh, and, okay. and we take care of it. You know, um, you don't have to worry about finding the right time. We can do the email back and forth, etc. But the other thing that's really cool is when you integrate your calendar, uh, we can also look ahead like a real assistant at your schedule and suggest things that are coming up before you even maybe realize that um, that's coming up on your schedule. Like so what? That, Give me that, an example with that because oh, that's fascinating. You know, let's say you have, let's say you have, um, I don't know, a flight from, you know, Denver to, uh, you know, LA uh, on your calendar. You know, we can ask you, are you going to need a car service for that? Um, do you need us to find uh, restaurants in in uh, LA or hotel reservations? You know, we'll we'll look ahead and and try to suggest things. Um, and so that's something that's really popular. It, you can kind of receive that in a couple of different ways. Most people get it in kind of this looking ahead email that um, can come either daily or once a week, um, and it kind of suggest all these things that are coming up on your schedule. And it's uh, amazing. The open rate we have on that is phenomenally oh high. Oh my gosh, um, that is such a great you know, idea. And is that yeah, kind of like any... a little like start your week and offload totally. all the stuff that you don't want to do that week. <laughs> is there is there any is that for any subscription level? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You can do all the integrations for any subscription level. So well, a couple, I've got so many questions. So first of all, who's doing these tasks? Like who, I, I know there are people throughout the United States, but like who, who are you hiring to do this stuff? And how, like sure. what are their qualifications? Um, sure. You know, so we, uh, we actually did a, uh, a survey of all of our assistants over the summer and, uh, really interesting to find out, um, about them. Uh, over, over half of them, um, have a college education. Um, a lot of them, um, are doing multiple jobs, and this is one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, a fair amount actually are stay-at-home parents as well mm-hmm. um, who want to make some supplemental income for their family. Um, so it, it certainly ranges, but um, they're probably uh, a little higher educated than most people would um, assume. Um, and, you know, they the the ones that um, really excel are the ones that um, are always going the extra mile for people and kind of mm. have um, this, I don't know what the right personality trait is or how to describe it, but it, it they really love helping people. And that's what we look for. Um, there's, you know, we have a pretty good um, process at this point where we have, when new assistants come in, they get mentored um, by kind of our older, uh, you know, veteran assistants. Um, their responses are, are kind of monitored and spot checked um, for a while um, to make sure that we're, you know, delivering a high level of quality consistently. Um, you know, we make sure that we don't um, uh, accept any private information from people. Um, you know, you don't give us your credit card or anything like that um, or any of the assistance. If you want us to make a purchase on your behalf, we actually um, create a credit card under the assistance name so they can make the purchase. And then we charge your account um, subsequently after that. So again, oh. none of that personal information has ever passed. So we, you know, we've really tried to, to think through um, a lot of the different situations uh, and tasks that people are going to ask us and how we can, you know, try to do the best job possible. Yeah. Wow. This is fascinating. Okay. So I have to ask, what are some of the stranger tasks that you've gotten, you've been asked to do? Can you think of any? We had people ask us to call up someone and sing them a song or sing them happy birthday. (laughs) Um, You know, I remember this one task uh, specifically where, um, this woman uh, had a, a favorite type of uh, ice cream that was no longer sold at oh. um, her grocery store. Yeah. And so she wanted us to track it down, and we did, and actually had to call up the, the manufacturer of the ice cream. They delivered it in dry ice to her house. No I way. Mean, so, um, yeah, there, you know, 
it, it really spans uh, a broad spectrum, but those are a couple that uh, I, I thought are, are pretty good. Yeah, Some pranks are... every once in a while, you know. Pranks. Um, we've had people, <laughs> yeah, a few pranks, you know, you got to be careful. But, yeah. um, you know, calling up and, and you know, um, giving a, a coworker a hard time about something um, is definitely something we've done. Okay, so for people who have jumped in and are fancy hands just lovers. What are you hearing from them about the impact that Fancy Hands has had on their lives? Because I can imagine what it would be, but I'd be interested to hear from your perspective what you're hearing from people. You know, it's really just about time, which is something that we all want more of. Um, and, you know, how we then spend that time, obviously, is a very personal thing. Some people, you know, want to spend it more with their family. Some people want that uh, alone leisure time. Some people want to write, read, etc. But it, it's really about time. Um, it's right. that simple. And, and, you know, uh, the, the most common way I think people express their excitement over fancy hands is like, they saved me X amount of hours, you know, on the phone or, you know, X amount of hours this week doing something. So it, it's usually pretty uh, quantitative. Like people right. feel like, oh, wow, I mean, I got literally this much time back in my pocket. Yeah, well, and that's, that is obviously priceless. And then I think the other piece that we sort of touched on before is just... I do think it gives you a, a different level of intentionality to be saying, okay, these are the things that I'm going to be focusing focusing on, but now I have fancy hands to do these other things that you know are are maybe just not in my best interest to do right now, and you know tend to be a time suck, and you know quite frankly somebody else can do it better, cheaper, faster. I think that's a really good point. That it, it probably. You know, besides the time it saves you and, and that type of productivity, it probably does make you a little bit more focused on the things that are more important for you to do. Um, and I, I do think that that is a good point that um, it probably helps you just get organized a little bit more. Yeah. And be a little bit more intentional, I think. So there you go, folks. 2015, be more intentional, hire fancy hands. And speaking of which, so let's talk a little bit about your pricing structure, because again, it is pretty affordable. Um, so mm -hmm. talk about your entry level pricing plans. And then I have sure. a, a specific question about that. Sure. So the entry level is $30 a month. Um, that will give you five tasks. Um, a task is about 20 minutes worth of work, um, okay. but a little a little hint, um, when you sign up, connect uh, your calendar, download our iPhone or Android app, we actually give you free tasks for doing that. So oh. you can actually uh, get up to, yeah, exactly, you can get up to 10 free tasks. Um, wow. when you sign up and connect those things. So we want to, you know, we want to encourage you to um, connect your kind of life to fancy hands because that's just going to make it so much more useful and, yeah. Um, and yeah, and get you going on your way. The next level plan is $50 a month, which gives you 15 tasks. Um, and yeah, uh, it, it's pretty, pretty simple like that. If you have a larger task that is more than 20 minutes, um, We'll just say, hey, great, this is going to take an hour, so we're going to use three tasks instead of one task. Fascinating, fascinating. So if I had a task that spanned twenty more than 20 minutes, it would just essentially eat up another one of those chits? Exactly. We want to make it really easy for you. So if you ask us to do something that's going to take an hour, uh, we'll just say, great, um, do you approve us using three tasks for this? And you say, sure, and that's that. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. Well, this has been absolutely fascinating. I don't know about you guys listening, but I am definitely going to be signing up for this because holy cow, I could really use this in 2015. So Josh, where can people find out more about Fancy Hands and where can they sign up? Uh, very easy. Fancyhands.com spelled correctly. So just go to <laughs> fancyhands.com or you can uh, you know, find us on Twitter at Fancy Hands. Excellent. Thank you so, so much. And I will, I'll be definitely putting those in the show notes as well. And as always, you can find life hacks for working moms at LH, the number four WM.com. Also, you can find me on Twitter at Megan Strand. And thanks so, so much for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe to the podcast in iTunes or find us on Stitcher Smart Radio. And again, thanks for joining us for this episode of Life Hacks for Working Moms. We'll see you next time.